City, a shooting outside a North St. Louis bar, just one of 10 shootings in St. Louis since Friday. Police say three people died, more than a dozen others injured. Good evening. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Kelly Jackson. During one of those crimes, six people were shot outside Playground Bar and Grill last night. Five on your side's Robert Townsend is looking into it. Kelly and Mike, thankfully nobody was killed during all that gunfire. Now it happened outside the bar and grill and near Fairground Park, where police tell us they have been called many times before. 704, we're getting reported of multiple victims for the shooting at 3735 Casu. The emergency call went out just after 10 Sunday night. Six people, four men and two women, shot outside Playground Bar and Grill on Kasuth Avenue. Near Yo, a lot of black women get shot, like a lot. <laughs> Uh, yo, you don't hear of white men, white women getting shot in public, man, unless they're fucking mud sharks. Non mud shark white women get shot in the home. Never Every other group of women get shot in the home. Every other group of people, <laughs> are, but women, yeah. Shout out to my man Steve K, man, coming through once again. Shout out to Steve K, man. Make sure y'all check out. Um, Fearless man, check him out on Fearless man. Um, I got, I can't wait till they do Caitlin Clark man tomorrow man. I'm gonna be tuning into that man. Your North Grand. It was like multiple shots ongoing back to back for like ten minutes. Police say they found more than one hundred shell casings at the scene. This woman was sitting on her porch with her child when the gunshots. Popped off. And that's another thing. When a white guy shoots somebody, it's one shot, two shots maybe. When black people shoot guns, it's 160, 70 shell cases. It's just, it's just madness. The last time you seen a shooting where a white guy just let off 100 shots, that wasn't like a fucking manifesto. A white guy without a manifesto, he just got mad at somebody or he just got ticked off or somebody he saw that he didn't like or somebody stepped on his shoe or somebody looked at him funny. And he just pulled out a gun and let out a fucking hundred shots in broad daylight. Last time you seen that. No, nah, our clans just don't work that way. That's a sun like frontal lobe thing. Yeah, definitely. It was shots going off, and so once I heard the shots, I ran in the house. The startled mom asked us to not show her face. It is hard to believe. It's crazy. Police found three victims shot in the street, two inside the bar. Another victim was taken to a hospital before officers arrived. Of the six victims shot, two were convicted felons and two are documented. Two are documented. <laughs> of the six people shot, two are convicted felons and two are gang members shot two were convicted felons and two are documented two are documented gang members knowing people with the highest propensity for violence carrying guns known to each other is sometimes a recipe for disaster so far this year police have been called to the business 19 times st louis metropolitan police department is working with problem properties and other stakeholders to address issues at this establishment chief tracy says crime is down along with the number of officers currently patrolling the streets. I fairly distribute police officers throughout the city because I can't just put them in one place. We're constantly having to figure out how uh, to advise you put uh, them wherever some people are. Community. What's that? He's just put them wherever the black people are. Pretty much covers it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Place. We're constantly having to figure out how do we uh, combat gun violence in our community. Police, that would work. Stop I mean, the them. police by itself doesn't work. It's just no, the only thing that would actually work is jailing yeah. the people and keeping them incarcerated and jailing them. You know, you need to crisper them. You need crisper, bro. Uh, you, the jail doesn't work. The jail just keeps like the beast in bondage. You need to like crisper the DNA so they can just normally not need the threat of jail. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, solutions barring any genetic modification, final solution sort of solutions here. You know what I mean? Like. Just semi-realistically speaking. Other news this, this afternoon, a violent weekend in the city with six separate shootings, leaving 17 injured. 
City police say one shooting outside of a bar. Think about it. They can't say six separate shootings done by black people with 17 black people injured. Late Sunday night left more than 100 shell casings at the scene. Luckily, no one was killed. St. Louis 11's Mallory Thomas is live with reaction from the chief of police about the violence. Mallory. Chief Tracy and Mayor Jones office both stressing that crime statistics are trending down, but they say it's just going to take a while for the community's perception to catch up. Families are out enjoying downtown after a violent weekend. The downtown residents. Uh, this ain't the crowd that was, they try to make you see like, oh, look, things are better now. Yeah. No. Black people are not there. That's why this place, this same place that all this shit happened is being populated by a different, it's the same thing as if you put a fucking tiger down here and then the tiger went crazy and then you removed the tiger and put a fucking pig down there the next day. It was like, oh, things are quieted down over here. No shit. But downtown residents say they're fed up with the crime. It's disappointing in the fact that we're at the beginning of the summer. Uh, you don't like to know that people are getting shot or dying from getting you know, wounded. Arnold Stricker lives in downtown and could hear gunshots from one of these six separate shootings police are investigating from over the weekend. Chief Robert Tracy holding a news conference to discuss the shootings, including one near Fairground Park, where police say more than 100 bullets were fired. And of the six victims shot, two were convicted felons and two are documented, two are documented gang members, knowing people with the highest propensity for violence, carrying guns, known to each other, is sometimes a recipe for disaster. Chief Tracy says the department is also investigating three murders from over the weekend. He says no arrests have been made yet, but they do have suspects. He says year to date no there arrests. are 74 homicides compared to the same time last year where we had 75 murders. Okay, consistency, man. Shout out to St. Louis for consistency, man. Straight up and down, man. Shout out to y'all. Well, I mean, yeah, we know, Chief Tracy we know says the... We know the sun, man, is pretty consistent, though. We've seen that. Yeah, man. Homicides this year have a 61% solve rate. Chief Tracy and Mayor Jones say the data shows crime overall is down in the city. I can understand the frustration of, of the administration saying, hey, crime is down, but maybe you're not seeing it in, in your neighborhood. But what that does is reminds us that we need to keep our foot on the gas and keep working. Think about it. Crime is down, but you're not seeing it in your neighborhood. Maybe take the foot off the gas and put it on the neck of the sun, man. <laughs> And all of these progress that we've made. For residents like Stricker, they want to see even more action. I think the people who not only live in downtown but in the city are getting a little tired of mantras and press conferences and no action happening. I'm not blaming the police department at all because they're a little hamstrung oh, tired of with staffing wager. right now. Chief Tracy says that the department has around 880 commissioned police officers. He says that also includes administration. Reporting live. Yo, St. Louis is a surprisingly small town. Like, they only got like 400,000 people. You would think that, like, when you hear St. Louis, you would, you'd be thinking, like, oh, it's a big city. No, nah, nah, it's not like that. Very small city. Ten Let's see, man. Um...